Confused about how you'll take classes at MC this fall? Set yourself up for success. The beginning of previous fall semesters at MC had its campuses busy with lots of people. The pandemic has changed things up, and now students and faculty will be meeting each other through computer screens. If you were an MC student last spring, you experienced some of the transition and probably know what to expect. But if this is your first semester at MC, you might be wondering where to begin. I think the thing that the students who are new to the college need to understand first is to start with Raptor Central. Raptor Central is the opening door to the college. It is where students come to get all the information that they need. It is our virtual welcome center. And when students are admitted to the college, they receive a letter that tells them all of the steps that they need to take in order to get tested, placed, enrolled in classes. Students who are new to Montgomery College usually need to have some kind of placement testing before they can enroll. They can go to the assessment center online, and all of the placement testing is available on that site. There are three different ways that classes are being offered. They're being offered as distance learning, which is independent. They're being offered as remote learning, which is basically replicating the classroom experience, but online at a particular time and a particular day. And then there's the hybrid option, which has students come to campus on occasional days, career-based classes where they use specialized equipment like automotive technology or biotechnology or nursing. Students in those hybrid classes are going to be contacted by their instructor with their particular appointments to come onto campus and to work on the different equipment. MC professors are getting ready for the semester and they're structuring their courses so that their students can be comfortable. I'll primarily be using Zoom for my class sessions. That's what we use in the spring, so I feel like most students are comfortable with it, so we'll just continue with the same format. So since I teach literature and journalism and writing, I think for me, what will be key is making sure that the students are engaged for the whole class period. I do have some group projects in my classes, and I will continue to do those projects. Through Zoom, we can do breakout sessions. I can easily hop into each of those breakout rooms so that I can offer guidance to them as well. Now for those courses that normally involve labs and handling equipment, some creative workarounds are in place. We are using a variety of virtual technology in our laboratory courses to replicate the hands-on experience that students typically receive. Many of our online labs are using simulation-based activities and virtual reality lab programs that allow students to handle chemicals work with common lab equipment, and even design and perform their own experiments in a virtual setting. We have also integrated some fundamental kitchen chemistry activities that can be completed at home. Students will also have the opportunity to engage in capstone laboratory projects and participate in active and ongoing citizen science projects. Most students coming back to MC will at least be familiar with Blackboard. My course Blackboard site serves as a central location where students can go to communicate with each other and with me to access course resources, to find additional services such as tutoring centers and writing centers, as well as to engage with supplemental material such as video tutorials to help them better master those course concepts. I'll be using Blackboard to give my quizzes. That's what I usually do in my online classes, and that works really well because they're automated. But for the larger assignments, um, since I teach English and literature, it's mainly writing. So they will continue to submit their work through Blackboard. I'll be holding office hours virtually. I did that in the spring when we shifted to remote, and the students were able to look at my calendar and choose a slot. I will definitely reach out to my students beforehand just to give them some information about how the class will work, how to access Blackboard, how to access the Zoom link. That way everyone feels comfortable and not confused on that first day of class and will know how to access all the materials. After the students have set up their MyMC account and registered for classes, they'll need to go where it says pay my bill slash manage account and pay their amount. Otherwise, they could be locked out of their courses. It's important to know there is no auto pay system. Every student needs to do this every semester. Again, Raptor Central is a great resource to find answers to common questions. The most important thing for students, whether they are returning students or they are brand new students, 
is to ask questions, look for help. Use the Raptor Central website and the email addresses to ask questions. Check your Montgomery College email because that's the way that your faculty member will communicate with you. Make sure that you have a Montgomery College email address and that you contact your instructor when you're ready to start the class. There's a whole army of people out there waiting to help students succeed, and you just need to ask for the help. 